This is how the Wayans brothers got the scary movie franchise stolen from them. And this story is so relevant to today's actors and writers strike. Basically, after creating and writing the first two movies, movies that were financially and critically successful. So when it came to renegotiating for the third, they were essentially stonewalled by the producers and the studios. So bad, they straight up decided to just leave. And the franchise went on to make three, four, and five without their original creators. And the reason I say it's relevant today is because imagine you as a writer in their position. You create two highly successful movies. And now when it comes to negotiating your contract for a third movie, which deserves higher compensation based on the performance of the first two movies, the studio says no. And with modern technology, they can use AI by feeding your original two scripts into the system and regurgitating a third film in the same style as what you wrote. And you would essentially have no power in this scenario. And this is not hypothetical. In one of the negotiations, the studios and streamers suggested using AI to replace background actors. Meaning that me, a background actor, I go in, I film one scene, and then they AI the rest. And not only that, they want to own the rights to my likeness to use whenever they want indefinitely. If this is where the studios are starting from, we are just in the beginning of this Hollywood strike. And this isn't even about taking all the power away from them. It's about giving the power back to the creators and the creatives. The people who have the ideas which are the foundation of this entire industry. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And don't forget to follow for more. Peace. Also, Marlon Wayans went on Kevin Hart's podcast to talk about this. I highly recommend you check it out. He goes much more in depth.